Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on Nero Platinum 15. Today I'm going to show you how to take a panoramic picture from a video and to do this I'm going to click on the Nero desktop icon. I'm going to choose Nero video. I'm going to come down to where it says Nero demo which is a project that I'm presently working on and I'm going to click to open that project and when I'm brought to this screen I'm in the advanced editing section of Nero and I've already loaded the video we're going to be working on and I'm going to play this video in full screen so you can see what we're working with so I've gone to full screen I'm going to click to play and this is a railway viaduct and I'm very close to this viaduct and so I can't actually get the whole viaduct into the camera from this position. And then I'm going to close full screen and then I'm going to move the timeline to the beginning and what I'm going to do is use this feature here which is the snapshot feature and I'm going to start by taking a snapshot of this screen. I'm going to click and as you see it's loaded the image here. And then I'm going to play the video for a few seconds And after a few seconds I'm going to click and stop and then I'm going to take another snapshot. So I'm going to click and it's taken another snapshot and I'm going to go back and play the video. And then I'm going to stop the video, I'm going to take another snapshot. And I'm going to play the video again. I'm going to stop and take another snapshot and I'm going to play the video again and I'm going to stop and I'm going to take another snapshot and I'm going to play the video again and then another snapshot. And now I have finished with Nero. I'm just going to exit out of this project by closing Nero. And I don't want to save the project. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to open File Explorer. Then I'm going to come to where it says this PC and I'm going to click on the drop down. I'm going to then look for pictures. I'm going to click on pictures. I've got the images here that I took using Nero. So I'm going to click them up. I'm using control on my keyboard. And I've selected all the images and I'm going to right click and I'm going to cut them. And then I'm going to go to my D drive where I have a folder here and I'm going to click on that folder and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste those images into that folder so I can easily find them. Now they're in that folder I'm going to return I'm going to right click on that folder and I'm going to select include in picture library and it's telling me that it's already included so that's fine I'll be able to find those images easily now I'm going to close out of this screen and then I'm going to look for this Windows app it's called Photo Gallery it comes with all Windows systems I'm going to click to open that app I'm then going to come across to where it says Nero Pan which is the folder that I had all those images in and then I am going to come up to where it says create the top left hand side of the screen and I'm going to click on create and I want to use this panoramic 
application. So I'm going to select all of the images. I'm going to click on Panorama and Windows will do its thing and stitch all these images together. And when it's completed that, I will then be able to crop this image and it won't take a great length of time before it's completing. And it's given me then a name. I'm going to call it I'm going to call it Nero 1 and I'm going to save that on my D drive as Nero 1. So I'm going to click save. So I'm going to now use the crop tool. I'm going to expand the window of the crop tool and move it around until I'm happy. And if I just move that along a little bit. That's what I want and then when I'm happy with that I'm going to click and crop that image and I've obviously saved that. To find it I can exit out of this Windows application and I'm going to OK then I'm going to go and find where that is stored which is going to be on my day to day. If I open that image that's what I've got. So I've managed to take a panoramic view of that bridge from a video. This might be handy for you. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.